Uh, hi everyone in this uh, tutorial we will talk uh, about numerical methods and particularly about the method of false position or regular falsy method so let me give you an example suppose we have a function called now uh, uh, function called f of x equal to y and we want to find the root for f of x or other way you want to find the value of x so x such that f of x is equal to 0 so how will go for this so let's uh, me draw uh, a graph here so we have uh, this is as x axis and this is y axis and if you draw this function let's suppose this function looks like this so now let's assume that we take a point here which is called x is 0 uh, x is 0 and then we have uh, call it x0 and then this is called f of x0 and then we take another point which is uh, x1 and this will be f of x1 so f of x1 is uh, less than 0 and f of x0 is greater than 0 so this is more like a bisection method but here instead of uh, now just uh, uh, averaging x0 and x1 we are drawing a line between f of x0 and f of x1 so if we draw this line then we will look at the intercept on the x-axis and then we will use this as our first approximation so this will be equal to our x2 and then once we calculate x2 we will again draw a line here like this and then we will calculate the value of this uh, intercept and we call it x3 so we keep doing this and drawing the lines so if I do this and then again draw a line so we will get closer and closer to this point which is our ultimate goal so this method is best suitable for computational simulation because you can ask the computer to do this calculation again and again uh, and here um, I will just give you a one example uh, so that you get an idea of what we are talking about so let's assume first that uh, if you want to solve for uh, this uh, first point x1 we uh, our point x2 we have to write the equation so the equation uh, for this first line so this uh, let me uh, equation for this first line can be written as y is equal to or f of x0 f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 so this is the slope and into x minus x0 so now if you want to solve for x2 what we need to do is we need to put y is equal to 0 and in this case x2 will be equal to x0 minus x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0 into f of x0 so we can solve for x2 and then keep doing this uh, again and again so that we can reach the final answer so let me give you an example so if we have uh, uh, f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 so in this case uh, f of uh, 2 is equal to minus 1 and f of uh, 3 is equal to 16 so so we, so we can assume this one as x0 and uh, 3 as a x1 so we can write this equation and solve for x2 so x2 
uh, is equal to x0 minus x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0 into f of x0 and that will be equal to 2.0588 so um, now if we uh, again uh, solve this equation we have uh, f of uh, 2.0588 is equal to negative of 0 0.3908 and now that means that the root lies uh, between 2.0588 and 3 because f of 3 is equal to positive right so now again we will uh, go for another approximation and we can calculate a um, so f of uh, x0 is equal to negative of 3.3908 and uh, f of x1 is equal to 16 and then we can solve again for uh, x3 is equal to 2.0588 negative 0 0.9412 divided by 16.3908 and that will multiply by minus 0 0.3908 the answer will be equal to 2.0813 so we can keep doing this and uh, if you ask the computer uh, you can keep solving it so that you can reach the answer and uh, if i use the computer i can go for many approximation and ultimately i can get uh, uh, x8 is equal to 2.0943 and then keep doing this uh, later but I will also show you this method in uh, Excel and how to program this method to solve for the equation so I hope this will help thank you